At the beginning of the video, uh, when you guys are having uh, words with one another, there was something about spit shining, and that's the only... Uh, I was talking about the clothes I was going to wear to my friend Bob, who was my freaking passenger friend on the bus. We were going to Frisco to get some weed for our arthritis mm -hmm. and pain. And I was talking about I'm going to wear a powder blue fucking suit and a white shirt and a red tie and a fucking breast cancer pin because my mother died of cancer, three complications of cancer surgery. And he come by and he's, what you talking about, Stacy Adams, spit shine, your brother shine, you're, what you talking about? I'm a nigger motherfucker and I've been in the penitentiary and I'm a murderer and I'll kick your motherfucking old ass talking about a brother shine, your shit. Who the fuck you think you are, you white motherfucking old man? I'll beat your ass. What happened on the bus? Well, first of all, I would like to apologize to AC Transit and the public and everyone who was on that bus that day okay. of, because of, of the way that I conducted myself. Okay. Is um, that, so that's not normally how... No, no. Okay. Uh, I was a, a little bit in, intoxicated. Okay. And, okay. And, and the guy knew it, you know. Okay. And uh, he he's, was a very, very huge dude. Yeah, huge, yeah. Big, big guy. So I got on the bus and he said... Uh, how much would you charge me to spit shine my shoes? He did say that to you? Yes. And his side of the story, really quick, Michael, was that he was just talking about getting his shoes spit shined. But, and then when you butted in, then he was like trying to make conversation like, well, how much would you charge? No. no it wasn't like that? No, it okay. wasn't like that at all. So you were just minding your own business? I was minding my own business. And, and, and I'm quite sure he could tell that I was in intoxicated. How much you charge? Let's get that expensive. How much you charge me for spit shine? me off. Get up in the front of the bus or I'll kick your ass. I said, you know what? It's better to be pissed off than pissed on. And you actually went and to then the I front walked of the bus. Away. Yeah. Then I walked away. You saw me trucking. Trucking means walking. And I walked up in my seat and sat by Bob and I was shaking. I was so nervous and mad. Why are you being so hostile, man? Well, you better be, you better be just stopping, just stopping. Take your ass back up there. Because you ain't, you ain't scared of this white boy. I was 67 years old, you ain't scared of me. You ain't scared of me. See, I'm 50 years old, and see, like, I, I thought you were lying. When you, on the videotape, you said I'm 50, I'm like, this dude is not 50. Yeah, okay. so, yeah, so. You ain't scared of me. I'll put my foot up your ass. Oh, no, you won't. No, you won't. Oh, no, you won't. You get my foot up your ass. I'll put my foot up your ass. Oh, man, whip your ass. Think about that. Sit your fucking ass no, no one else was stepping up to the uh, plate and, you know, just say, hey, man. So you felt like you were, okay, he, this guy's going to make an insult, uh, or he's going to insult he black was, people. He was insulting right. black people. And you're people, not going to let. And the younger people didn't even know it. Okay. So, and and so I said, well, I know if 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 I, I have to do something, but okay. I'm not scared of this guy. Right. So, I mean, like. I knew that he was going to beat my butt, you know. So I, I was going to ask, why would you go up once he walked away? Why would you go up to the bus? But you've answered it. You were drunk and like, right, hey, right, right, right. So, and, and, and like, that's not normally how I conduct yeah. myself. Get my foot up here. I'll put my foot up your ass. Go in and whip your ass. Think about that. Sit your fucking ass. I'll put my foot up your ass. Think about that. Come on, do not me. Just be in the hotel. Say it again. Say it. Showed me some knife. He did. Switchblade knife he had on him about that fucking long, man. He popped it open. I'll cut you up, motherfucker. Shut up, old man. 
and then the white and his girlfriend was accomplice the one stole my bag and my money the little black girl that videotaped it apparently because she showed herself stealing the bag she put the fucking camera right on the bag as she walked away with my wallet and my keys she did you got ripped she's off she's got the fucking thing on the camera Who was videotaping this? Uh, I have no idea. He said it's your fiance or your girlfriend. No, no, my fiance is 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 in Atlanta. Yeah, she's in Georgia, and you know what? Wow. I read a news story, and I think it was like L L Laisha, or they they named the person who was videotaping. And okay. Yeah, it wasn't yeah. the same name yeah. as your fiance. Okay, so they're calling him Vietnam Tom. Vietnam right, Tom right. also uh, said that. I also would like to apologize to him because he's a veteran. My my brother is also a veteran and um i apologize to him for the way i conducted myself by throwing the first punch and uh but i will not apologize for making for for him making that racist rip remark right. that he did so. all right so the claim that your girlfriend or fiance stole his the wallet is, is I, false. I have no affiliations with the girls that 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 you're talking about. I don't okay. even know them. Uh, a couple of other things he said. He said that you showed him a knife. No, I to try to intimidate him. No, I never showed him a knife. Actually, I actually went up beside him to try to say, "Mel, calm, calm down. Why why are you talking like this here?" Whoa. Get that man alone. It ain't working. It ain't working. several interviews is on YouTube claiming that he got a murderer off the street, that you've been to the pen for murder, and you're Never. on parole right now? Never. No, no, I'm not. Okay. That's, that's, that's not true. After the incident, uh, the sheriff's officers, they handcuffed me. Mm -hmm. Okay. And, um... They say, look, this guy, he's a 51, 50. He has a history. But he's a veteran. And like I said, my brother, he's also a veteran. So, you know, like I right. apologize to all the veterans. You know, it wasn't an, an attack on the veterans. It was an attack on a remark that a person made. How about you charge me for a What? How about you charge me for my state status? And see, uh, I think he also thought that I was like 25 or 30. Or well, you look like it, dude. You do. <laughs> yeah. yeah, but give but us the secret. I'm, I'm, I'm well aware of black history. So you said, um, of course, we're talking to Michael, he got in a fight on AC Transit. The YouTube video was getting crazy hits. You said yourself, you know, I knew I was going to get beat up when right. I walked over right. there. Right, because I, I saw this guy is huge. Uh -huh. yeah. This guy is big, you know, and. Uh, I knew it, but but I say, well, look here. Do people fun. recognize you on the street? And if so, like, do they do they talk smack or try well, to clown? Well, see, no, like like uh, I have been on the internet and and I've seen all the races. Oh, I've never yeah, seen so. It's many. crazy. I'm, it's me yeah. like they're 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 saying monkey this. Yeah, it's, and, it's really bad. I mean, it's crazy. I want to point out that uh, I am not a thug. I am not a wannabe gangster or nothing like that. You know, I'm a res respectable citizen and a, a law-abiding citizen. Have you had a chance to speak to Tom since this incident has gone down? No, I haven't. No. No, I haven't. Maybe that's what I should set up. You know, my radio instinct was like, we got to get a rematch going here. But you know, maybe we should have you guys get together and squash this thing. Hey, look, I'm willing to let bygones be bygones. Yeah.